Hi everyone, it's Gail. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. You can see I have a couple of examples that I've been playing with a little bit. Uh, more to do on both of them, but um, this is neurographic art. And you all may have heard of it. I just discovered it. Um, Shannon Green had a video on it. I will show you her video. She's so amazing. Um, I mean, I'll link it down below for you. Um, but anyway, this art was um, invented, I guess you could say, by a psychologist, Pavel Piskarev. Probably slaughtered that, but um, in nine or in uh, twenty fourteen, and so it's been around a while. There's lots of videos out there, um, besides Shannon's. I'll link Shannon's, but there's yeah, there's lots of videos out there because it's been around a while. But I just discovered it, and you know I love to doodle, and this is similarly doodling. So um, anyway, uh the psychologist thinks that this particular form of art links the conscious with the subconscious. And there's lots of variations out there of this, um, depending on which video you use. But there's three basic principles, and I'll show you those. And then I have a project that I want to do um, with it. So, uh, so yeah, we'll get started. Let me say hi and hugs to Linda, Tanya, Gail, Joanne's Collective Company. So uh, thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And um, yeah, so for this, you need a variety, whatever you have of um, markers and you can use colored markers as well, as well. We might try a little bit of that today. I don't know. But I wanted to show you the three steps in it. And then I think you can use it as, as you want. His, his um, sort of thought is that you think of a challenge in your life or um, some, some sort of, of something that you want to... Um, concentrate on while you do this. You can even write the word or a phrase on the back of your page that you're doing this on. Um, so, and as you can see, the pattern itself looks a bit like neurons, like our, in our brain. So anyway, I played a little bit. This was my first one. Um, I'm just, I'm doing, this is a, what is this? I uh, don't have it. It's like mixed media paper or water, mixed media paper, I think. And so I didn't think that the, um, that the lines would go through it. So, and I have only created on one side of this. So I decided the other side's going to be my neurographic art part. So um, there's the first one I did. Then I did this one and I started to color it in. I'm not, I'm not done with that, but used colored pencils. And then I started one on a jelly print that it was one of my jelly prints that needed more. And so I started on it um, and then, and then I ran out of time. But I have a couple things I'd like to do today. But let's start off. Let's get a new page in my book here. And um, let's start off with the three steps of this, in case you haven't seen this. Um, I am going to, I think I'll use, well, that's a little bit small. Let's use this one. Okay. So the first thing you do is you draw lines and they're just kind of helter skelter lines just whatever moves your brain the only sort of rule and and I hesitate to even say that word when it comes to art but these are the processes and you know and then your piece will turn out like you want it to so one of the things is you go off the page with your lines, okay? Now, a few of the videos that I watched said that you should 
draw your line for three seconds. Nah, that's too that's too much of a rule for me. No thank you to that. So um so yeah and then just just whatever sort of and I just kind of try and fill in the space a bit. So there we go. We filled in our space. So number one, we drew lines. Now, if you're doing this with um, the intention of creating some positive change in your life, then while you're doing all of this, you will be, you will be concentrating on um, the subject at hand, shall we say. Okay, so then process number two is wherever your lines intersect, you're going to color in. I hope you can see this pretty well. Um, I did I did zero in a bit. Yeah, I guess you can see it pretty well. Let me zero in just a little bit more. So um, so you're gonna curve out your lines. Do you see? So what I would do, what I would say to describe it is your curve, the bottom of your curve needs to go toward the intersection. See, like that. Does that make sense? We'll do another one. And um, see how the curve, the bottom of the curve is toward the intersection. Now, like I did here, I went over a little bit, so there's nothing that says you can't thicken that line a little bit. And um, it is sort of, you know, I mean, don't drive yourself crazy trying to be perfect, but it's fun to kind of make those make those intersections as neat as possible. So we've got number one, our lines, number two, these intersections. And then the next thing is to add, add some shapes, whatever you want. Um, like for instance, as I look at mine, I think down here it could use a circle. Granted it's off the page. Let's do one on the page. A circle there. Um, do I want to have? I really filled it up with lines, didn't I? I think I want to do. And don't see how I went over on that? Not a worry. I'm going to take my big marker and we're just going to. Thicken the line like that. Now I can come in and kind of round that out. So lines, curved intersections, and shapes. These these aren't great either, so I'm going to go in with them too. Oh, I don't. I don't draw the perfect circle, but you know what? It's not about being perfect. It's about being mindful, really, and um, and creating something that makes your eye happy. So, as I said, I've watched, like, I don't know, half a dozen um, videos on this, and then after you've done your three sort of processes then you can you can do whatever so like um like some people let's let's do our curves on this one and I'll show you on this little spot here um just gonna thicken that a little bit okay so let me get super fine point here so some people went in and did like oh is that not working I used it on the acrylic and it didn't like that very much um, and just added like 
some thin lines starting and stopping at, um, at the same spot. So it sort of makes that spot darker too. So this part kind of made me think of um, like a Zentangle. Just rounding out that intersection. But normally I would draw my lines and then go back and do all my intersections, right? Um, so, so that, I mean, I was looking for a spot where I could, I guess here, um, some people went back and made like, you know, a design in in whatever shapes they had for instance and um yeah so it's just amazing what's out there and then as i did in this one um you can you can color in so um, I did that with, with just with pencils and um, I want to do more shading and stuff. And then I, I, I don't know, you can leave, you can just color sort of your, your obvious shapes or you can color all the little intersecting things. It's like whatever you want to do is, is how I feel about it. <laughs> Um, because it's your art, right? And, and you're just like any other art, you're taking some idea and expanding it in your own style in what is meaningful to you and that kind of thing. So I guess that's sort of the overview. We might come back and work on that again, but I have my little book here. This is my little journal that, um, that I made that's kind of a, little bit of a homage to my friend Carrie the crafter and I Carrie I thought of you when I when I saw this form of art I thought Carrie would be so good at this so I'm just I'm just saying Carrie I would love to see your take on this but I am gonna do a page in here because Carrie came to my mind when I very first saw this this form of art and so so yeah I want to do a little a little bit of something I'm gonna grab something to put under it kind of like this just so just so I don't go over onto the other page so um so yeah C Carrie I would love to see what you do with this and um, and so as I do this page, I'm going to have Carrie in my mind, in my heart. You're always there, Carrie, but, um, I'm going to do this with the intentions of all good things coming to my friend, Carrie, Carrie the crafter. This will be fun because it's a smaller page than, you know, than what I had been doing. And so, um... It might be kind of interesting that way. Let me make sure that I'm pretty well on camera and let's get started. So step one is our lines, right? So let's just, let's just think about Carrie and, and do a few little marks on the page. Okay, so now I would do my intersections. One thing that I forgot to tell you, let me make sure this part is in camera when I do it, is um, Shannon did this and, and several other people that I watched 
where your line goes off the page just to draw that out and do your curved line on that like so so that it it just sort of flows into the edge of the page rather than an abrupt <laughs> an abrupt ending so i am going to do that on all these that have gone off the page here and then it's just it's just very relaxing it's very meditative and um yeah so I hope I didn't miss that you've already done this, Carrie, but I just thought not only would it be a good exercise in whatever your intention is, but I think it kind of combines perfectionism with letting go and just letting the art happen. And you know, carries carries a self-professed perfectionist and it shows in his work because it's amazing. And um and so I th I thought of that for him too that, you know, maybe that's this is something that, you know, he can work on making these transitions kind of perfect, but then also there's the free form of the lines and all that is also, you know, part of this. So I thought we'd just work on this one in the book. And I mean, a lot of your videos that you'll watch on this, they speed it up or, you know, or they cut away, you know, and then show you the result and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're not, I mean, really, you've got the basis of it right now if you want to turn the video off. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So my friend Carrie and I, we were hoping to meet at Creativation. Neither one of us went this year. Um, I just, I wasn't comfortable yet with the you-know-what, so I just decided to bag it this year but next year is in Columbus Ohio and it's funny because that's where my daughter used to live and so actually this this one I'm gonna bring up here cuz I didn't end it quite right so there's me taking liberties already okay so all my edges are off the page now we'll go back and round out and just in my practicing this I found that it's easiest for me to draw the curved lines go ahead and draw them all kind of at the same time rather than you know one curve colored in one curve colored in see I think I got everything right there that's the other thing it's sometimes you have to go back and kind of look at it to make sure you got all your all your curves and you know what if you don't have a steady hand I would still play with this because you know in the end who's gonna see it <laughs> I mean honestly Granted, I'm right here on YouTube, so you're seeing mine. But, you know, in general, who's going to see it? Just have fun with it. That's the other thing I feel like is it, it's not my kind of art if it's not fun to do. You know, if you're not having some fun with it, then why do it? So, oh, Carrie, yeah, I would have liked to have met my pal, but maybe next year, maybe in Columbus. So. Yeah, 
this is this is so great. I mean, it's just it's Monday morning and I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing than just sitting here drawing lines. <laughs> I did push my sleeves up cuz I'm wearing my April artwear and I didn't want to if the you know if I ran my hand over the marker I didn't want to get it on my shirt okay we're getting there oh look at here we missed one right here I hope you can see pretty well I don't know I thought about going from the side on this but I think you're you're getting to drift anyway. And you know, quite honestly, I think things like this that are, oh, what would you say? A bit of a departure from, certainly from making a journal. This is much different. Um, it, I, I think it helps your creativity just to, you know, do something out of your ordinary. So, but that said, there's no reason you couldn't use pieces of this in a journal, right? You could do this on an index card. You could do it on a Rolodex card. You could just do, you know, a little bit down the edge of the side that you've left for writing, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, our imaginations are our only limitations and we just, just need to play with stuff. Okay, so I have all of my little, what would you call them, intersections. I have them all colored in. Now I'm gonna add some some shapes and I don't know I just tend to go with circles I think about okay there I could put a square I could put a triangle but I don't know I just kind of feel like you know what I, I am going to do a triangle I'm going to do a triangle right off here like that and your squares try and make them as square as possible your triangles, try and make them as, I don't know, I don't remember my names of my triangles, but you know, all the sides the same. <laughs> um, and then you go in and do those intersections. Didn't do a very good job on that one, so we'll just bring it out. Um, And I think your piece just develops over time. It just develops. Okay, so I kind of like that. That's pretty fun. Okay, so let's let's put a little square down here. We'll just put we'll put all, uh, several. I think that's pretty good. Those, those need something. So I need to round here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And up here. But then I don't like how that just abruptly is there. So I'm going to just make a make another line come from it. So this is where I go rogue, you know, a little bit. You have the you have the three principles, but I don't know. You don't really need to don't need to be too crazy about keeping them I don't know. Add your own thing. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't like this either. So I'm going to just go do another little line. As I say, you need to make it 
pleasing to your eye. Okay. So I was thinking about a big old circle right here. I think I might start there and just go around. Okay, I'm liking that. Ooh, I got a lot of intersections though I need to address. So the circle makes me think of my pal Carrie being on the other side of our great big world. Even though we're on the other side. Isn't that the beauty? That's one of the good things from the internet. We always hear all the bad things, which there are plenty of those too. But one of the good things is you can have friends now on the other side of the world that you can you can chat with, you know, and stay connected with. Uh, okay, I've got, this is interesting here. It's like, it's very close. So we'll just kind of wing this. I do get a little bit confused as to what to do on one that's this close, but I'm just going to kind of do that. <laughs> oh, look at all these down here that I haven't done. So Carrie, if you give this a try, let me know what you think. I'm just curious of, look at that one's really, that's, that's a bad, that's a bad juncture there. I'm just gonna thicken that line all the way down to here, just to, just to fix it a little bit. Then I think I might go there too. And now, just for, for balance, I feel like I'm going to need some of those big, thick lines here and there, you know, in other places. Okay, here's this one. Okay, did I get them all? Nope. Nope, sure did not. That's the that's the hardest part of this one. So I'm filming this on Monday after Easter. So I hope y'all had a lovely Easter. We did. It was different. We didn't have any kids or grandkids, but we had a nice day. We spent all day waiting for our little Addie's volleyball game to be uploaded. It was crazy. It took literally all day because we didn't watch it until, um, we didn't watch it till like eight o'clock at night <laughs> and she played in the morning. So they are on their way home from Dallas. Yeah, it was kind of crazy that they had a tournament over Easter, I thought. But, you know, what do I know? Okay. Oh, Carrie, I'm liking our drawing. Okay, I really like this. I think I'm going to turn this upside down. And I'm going to put another triangle in. But... Let's just go. So see, I kind of made that the, the same. Ooh, I like that though. I'm telling you, this is just so fun. And I know it's, it's like a lot of dead space in the video, but Maybe this is one that you can run while you're doing something in your craft room, too. Okay, so there's those. And then I have, have intersections happen in here. Carrie, 
are you feeling the good vibes, my friend? Okay, did I get them all? I think so. Okay. I am fairly pleased with that. You know, what I'd like is a few like little bubbles. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of something to use as kind of a template. My glue's too big. I want something smaller. Um, 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 um. Okay, no template. Freehand it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Good job, Gail. That's not bad. Okay, one right here. I think the key is to go slow. <clears throat> Let's get crazy and put one right in the middle of this one. Okay. I think I want one here. And again, I'm using my sort of principle that I use in collage and whatever of three, five, seven. So I have four little circles. I want one more. So we're going to put one up here too. Okay. Oh, fun. All right, so we are to the point then of, I want some color on this. So I'm gonna bring over my, bring over my pencils, which are, I, they need sharpening, but I can't find my sharpener anywhere. Oh, I wonder if it's up there. Let me look real quick. No. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, I couldn't get to it, but there it is. I looked all over the other day, and it was right up there. Okay, good. And I brought this little um, Prismacolor Magic Rub in case we want to do something, do something crazy on the inside. So now we get to color, which is so fun, too. So I'm gonna color all my circles. I don't think I wanna do anything more in my circles, but I wanna color them, so. So um, Shannon was saying that she does this while she's watching TV with her husband. And so um, there's an idea for you. And, and she doesn't do the sort of the mindfulness part of it. She just, it's doodling for her, which I think is perfectly great. And um, I mean, because pretty much I just do the, I just do the part of it that's doodling too. I mean, other than this one, I have my friend Carrie in mind. I'll have to text him today or uh, message him today and see if see what his day was like how did you feel today Carrie <laughs> I'll tell you why in a minute after you tell me how you felt today I will go ahead and tell you why you should have felt great because <laughs> your pal Gail had you in mind and was working in my Carrie book I've been kind of, I've been really having a hankering to work in an art journal anyway. So this is kind of, kind of perfect that way. And you know, the great thing about this too is you don't, you don't need a lot of supplies. I mean, your, 
your, whatever, your paper, your book, your markers, and then some colored pencils. Now, I do want to, I think I'm going to go red here. I might need to, might get through this or I might need to sharpen that. I can't tell. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I do want to try different mediums to colorize these. And, you know, those will kind of be forgotten Friday sort of videos, I suppose, because some of those I haven't touched since my mixed media days. So it'd be fun to use some of those too. So now what I'm wondering is if I, let me get that a little darker on the edges. And what happens if I just kind of Ooh, I like how that's, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's, it's not erasing it. It's just kind of blending it. Hmm, that's kind of fun. Let's do this one. Did you all do the color book craze when that was a thing? I did. I used to used to color um, while I was watching TV in the evening because I was still working during the day. Not a retired lady of leisure like I am now. Oh, my husband keeps asking me when I'm going to retire. Mm, I don't know. I'm having too much fun. Okay, that's really fun. I'm just going to, I'm going to do this one too. I'm going to do all these little kind of loop-to-loop -loop things. And um, actually watching the videos, there was some sort of rules for coloring, too. I'm not following those either. I'm just doing what I want. And I want to do this one. Yeah, I um, I wanted this weekend, I wanted to try doing one of these while I watch TV. And then um, I spent the whole weekend doing um, fussy cutting. So you guys aren't going to believe this, but I have 17 journal kits ready to go for my retreat season <laughs> and I have I have one more that's already except for the um, fussy cutting so that'll be 18 um, so for my friend Diane's retreat um, I'm hoping to get six done for that one we'll see because we take time out and we go to the antique store and we, um, on hers, we go to the brewery because uh, she and her daughter enjoy that. So we go there. I enjoy it too. It's fun to just sit and visit. Ooh, I like how that blends out the, kind of the lines. Prismacolor Magic Rub. It is magic. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know if I'll get six done. And then mine uh, in Anaconda is a week long. Again, we take time off to 
do things. Last time we went and looked at the baby eagles. I don't know if we'll do that again, but that was, took an afternoon because we drove to the lake where the baby eagles live. Okay, I don't know exactly why, but I'm feeling... feeling yellow up here. I just am. And I am going to go, I'm going to pull several of the little spaces together. I hope I'm on camera. I've been trying to kind of just stay in the middle of my mat, which I figured would be on camera. Um, yeah, so that one's a week long, so I should get more than six done. Because I have a lot of the time-consuming stuff done already on these journals. Um, making the cover. Uh, I have all the fussy cutting done. I have um, collected some pre-made ephemera, although I definitely have a lot more ephemera to make. So, I don't know. I don't know how... And then the one that I'm having here in July is just the basic four days. And, um, but I'm going to be busy hanging out with my friends. So I don't know how much I'll actually get done. We'll see. Um, you know what? I am going to do these two too. Because that almost looks like a heart for my friend Carrie. It's a yellow heart, but it's a heart. This one definitely needs a little sharpening. <laughs> I'm like down to the nubbins here. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see. Um. Do, let's do some green. Hmm, I think I'll do this circle green. So maybe the yellow symbolizes that I was cowardly going to the um, creativation this year because I did. I was scared of you, the you know what and. Um, Maybe the green is that I'm envious of Carrie's unending talent. <laughs> Even though, I mean, I definitely am enamored with his talent <laughs> and inspired by his talent. I don't know if I'm envious. Envy is not a good emotion, is it? It's kind of on the side of emotions that you try to contain. <laughs> I don't know. Just thinking about the, the colors. Um, and then I think I'm going to go back and do some um, black and do a little bit of shading on these two. I'm going to have to really check the time on this because I do tend to lose myself a bit in it. Okay. I'm loving that shape. What color do we want to do that? There's a different color of blue. I'm feeling gray. I don't know why, but I am. So we're going to do... Oh, this isn't gray. This is dark green. Okay. Well, it's the it's the pencil that was calling me, so I guess it's supposed to be dark green here. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Now we could thicken up some lines too. I forgot to look at that. But this thick line right here reminded me we could do that. Am I on camera? 
want him to be. I think this one might need my magic rub because because it's darker, it's really showing the color lines. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Actually, I want this side, too. It's kind of funny how the shapes pop out at you that say, okay, I want to be colored all in one color. And I wanted this one to be all colorful because Carrie is a colorful character. He's got such an interesting life and he's very open about sharing his life experiences. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can blend that a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. I'm going against the uh, against the way that I colored and it's blending it nicely. I don't know if you can see that on camera how that's blending, but it's just kind of taking out the lines. Okay. Yay. Okay, let's see. What other colors do I have? I've used that. Um, ooh, gold. Gold. Carrie's friendship is like gold. Okay, I think I want to go right here. I haven't used this, much, this one much. it's kind of funky how it's coloring but whatever we'll go with it it's almost like it's got something in it that's keeping it from coloring properly that's all right we'll just use it on oh there we go it's given way now <laughs> I don't know what the deal was there okay. Okay. There's the gold. Let's see, maybe a little more up here. Where it was being funky. Okay. See how stripey that is? Let's see if we can make it go back and forth this way. Yeah, that's not really... Feel like it's doing a whole lot on this one it is down below but yeah I don't know why that was it was a bit weird okay I feel like maybe want a little blue different color of blue right here hubby's on the phone I wonder who he's talking to my daughter Mary that um, her little girl Sarah that had the surgery Mary's been working a night shift so she can be home with Sarah during the day 
and then her husband is with Sarah at night while she's at work, and so I guess it's worked out pretty well for them. Um, I don't know. This might be the same color as those. I can't tell, but I liked how this curved around. So the latest Sarah story, um, and I, I should repeat because people come on and they don't know what I'm talking about, but um, so my granddaughter Sarah had spinal surgery for scoliosis, and so she's she's recovering and it's going well. So yesterday, my daughter took her four kids and, you know, Bucky and Leaf are the two little ones to the park. Well, Sarah went down the slide. <laughs> Mary about had a heart attack. And Sarah said, I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. Oh, jeez. Hard to keep a kid down, really. Okay, well, that's, that's fun. Let's see, we'll just see what, yeah, that just blends that so neat. Okay, I think, I think I would like a little orange somewhere is what I was thinking. I think I'm going to go here. Yep. Yeah, so <laughs> Mary's like, you are not going to believe what Sarah did. Oh, goodness. She was, you know, she had the little boys on the swing or something, and down goes Sarah down the slide. Mary said, Sarah, that probably wasn't the smartest thing. Could you not do that, please? Oh, boy. Sweet girl. It was fun. Um, Mary sent us videos of Bucky finding his Easter eggs. Oh, so cute. The pure delight. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> it's just, it's the cutest. So... There we got that one. I'm just going to take my little blendy. Do a little around the edges. Okay. I feel like I want a little more here. Okay, and then actually might want some more orange. I love how orange makes things kind of pop. You know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to, where's my yellow? I'm going to do yellow right here. I'm going to leave, I'm going to make that triangle its own color, except for it's got a little green at the top. Um, I feel like I, I, I want more different colors. Dark green, I did that. Grass green, how different is that? A little bit. Okay, let's do the triangle with that. Um, anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. Bucky and his Easter eggs or something. Yeah, the pure joy. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> He'd get his hands so full he'd have to, have to take a stop at the Easter basket to put him in. Because he just kept grabbing him in his hand, you know. So cute. And little Mr. Leaf is doing the army crawl. So he's he's starting to motor around. I said, oh, Mary. <laughs> Your trouble once he starts moving too. Oh my gosh. Such a busy time with toddlers and babies, isn't it? Gosh, but it's so great. 
go so fast, though. They grow up, and pretty soon they're in school. I mean, Bucky's going to preschool this next year. I don't know who he's talking to. He might be talking to Mary because she's home during the day. It's been a great schedule. We've heard more from her <laughs> than, than normal. So it's been great for us. Carrie, I'm liking this colored. Okay, let's let's do some rubbing. Oh man, that's really good. It's just so neat how that blends in. Some of the colors blend better than others. This is blending really well, this green. Okay. So then I was thinking of doing this whole area the same color. So I think we're going back to orange here. And then I'm going to go back and see if I want any of the lines bigger. Should have done that before I colored, probably, but I think it'll be okay. And then um, do, some, do some shading. I don't know. I don't know how much time I have left, but... I just knew I wanted to show you guys this because this is just, I'm finding it so much fun. And even though it's all random, it's really, I mean, it really, I think it just turns, I'm gonna do orange down here too. Cause then I'll have three pots, th three things of orange. Only have two of that one green, but that's okay. Together they make five. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try different things. I mean, you could use markers. You could use a combination of mediums, you know. There's a lot you could do here. Watercolor. I want to try watercolor. I want to try, um, like I said, some of my mediums that I haven't used in forever. Okay, so orange. Orange doesn't blend quite as well, but it does blend some. Just having to push a little harder on the eraser. is I need a little more yellow up here towards the edge of that. Okay. Yay! All colored in. It reminds me of my friend Carrie. Let's make a few thicker lines here. I think I might go around the circles. It's 
a funny how then they just pop out from the page a little bit more, don't they? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm past time. Sorry guys, I'm glad I looked at my watch. I do, I lose track of time. So, I think this is about done anyway. I need a f couple more. I think I'm gonna go here. And one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to go here. Okay, we're going to call it, we're going to call it good. Once again, neurographic art. I hope you'll give it a try. It's super fun. And as you can see, it can make time absolutely melt away. So this is, this one's for you, Carrie. I'm going to write your name right down there. And um, yeah. I hope you give it a try and please let me know if you do. If you have a video, I will just watch your video. So thanks everybody. Have a grateful day. See you in the next video. Bye.